Okay, so that's the oh, excuse me. The next software that I'm going to download is I think is the I forgot the name. Sorry, <laughs> shortcut video editor. So basically, what I do is I'm looking for a portable version. This is you click the download, and then you go to the download section. I just pick up the 64-bit window portable zip. This one, and if you are in Mac, then you download the Mac version. Okay, I'll so just save this one. Okay, just open with a card. Um, it's around nine hundred and eighty-nine megabytes. I can't remember, but the good thing about this software is you can add it without installing any software. Okay, and I just tried it from my other video, but in this setting, I'm just uh downloading it for. I mean, because I'm using it, I'm in a new environment. That's why I'm downloading it again. Okay, and just wait, wait, wait. And hopefully it doesn't take that long because I'm not going to cut this video. This is a raw video. I'm just trying to show you uh, the real scenario. I mean, the real scene, the real situation when I download all the softwares that I use. Okay, so good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Yeah, good. And then just extract it to desktop. Should be fine. Okay. See? Wow. Takes quite long. <laughs> quite a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. And then you see this one, right? Shortcut. Okay, just my routine. I just right click this one, open the containing folder, and delete it. Good. And right now, I can start editing. <laughs> Let's pick the previous video. Okay, just double click the shortcut. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> Because sometimes it doesn't. That's the only bad part of this software. And the look, I mean, the appearance is very similar to Adobe Premiere. And I like its hotkey, like I said before. See, it takes quite long to, to load up for the first time. And you just have to wait, wait, wait. Wait. I'm trying to keep the video busy and noisy so that you won't fall asleep. Please, please, please. I know I'm, I do sound annoying and that's my purpose. <laughs> Okay, and I think if you are watching until this moment, oh, too bad. Keep the color scheme. Okay, keep the current. Keep the current. Okay. Is it running? I'm not sure. Okay, just click run. See, that's kind of accident that you have when you install these kind of freeware. And that's the price. Time cost. I don't know why it doesn't work. Hopefully it does. 
Maybe I kill the process and try again. Don't know. Yeah, good. It runs. Yeah, good. Finally, I got it. <laughs> and fair, um, for the very first time, you don't see anything. But you can usually I click the timeline first. So that I got something to work on, and then and then I press Control O, and then I just grab a video, grab a video that I just maybe yeah maybe this one wildlife, <laughs> okay, and I just drag it all the way here, okay, you see, it's running. Oh, excuse me. How come it stops? Yeah, good. Oh, I know why. Because... Okay, anyway. Oops. Okay, so I use some shortcut here. Let's say I don't like the dark screen. I press L and it starts running. I mean, the clip starts rolling. Hold on, you can hear very big voice. I tune it down a little bit so that my voice can cover up the background. Okay? Because I can hear a lot of resonance from my ear. I mean, from my uh, mixer, not my ear. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Okay, if I click J. Oops. Click J. Let's click J. It goes back. You see here? It goes back very slowly. When I press K, it stops. When I click L, it rolls. Rolls forward. Let's say if I don't like the dark part, I press S. You see here? I just cut it. Right? And when I... Oh, it's not big enough. I just go this part. Okay, hold on. Press S. Let's say I press Shift. Oh, sorry. Control Left. Control Right. No. Control Right. Sorry. Shift Right. How okay. come? Where's my hotkey? Doesn't work now. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it works. When I press Control with my left thumb, and I use my right thumb to click the right arrow, it jumps to this clip, right? When I press my control, when I press control and left arrow, it jumps back here. When I press X, it cuts. See? It jumps right away. Jumps here right away. So, and what I want to do is I want to press X to cut. The first part. Okay, good. Okay, let me turn on the sound. Yeah. Okay, so that's the original video. Let me cut this part also. Well, like this one. Delete? No, no good. Press X so that it snaps right away. Oops. Hold on, hold on. I think it crashed. <laughs> I'm doing too quick. See? Good. And hold on, let's say. Yeah, what I can do with this one is. Let's go up. And do a filter. And I press a press. And then let's say I. Okay, hold on. Let me do. Let me do what? Let me do this one. I just changed um, the contrast. Let me see if I can do a color correction. Oh, okay, let's see glow. When I press glow, 
It doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. Where? Where is it? <laughs> okay, maybe I close the project and start everything over. It's way easier. Ah, excuse me. Timeline. Delete it, delete it, delete this, and timeline. Ah, do it again. Control O, add the file. Just add the file here. Oh, right. Okay, click it. I click the clip, and then I go to filter. And then just add a pause, and then I change. Let me change something. Oh, excuse me. Just low, yeah. And see, everything becomes like this. Change, glow, glow, hello, yeah. Let's say if I want, I want something like this. Let's move it. It is the original, and this is with the effect. And when I change the blur, see, you change the blur, then it's a new stuff. And let me remove this one. And then I add a new filter. Let's say what I can. Oh, I can do 3D text also. <laughs> Not sure. Wow, good. See? You got 3D text and I can change the size, the depth. I I haven't explored I mean I don't know how to do the um uh the keyframe thing at this moment. But as you can see you can change to a 3D text and Let's say if I want to um, edit a photo, then I can just do... I just use the snap tool to yeah, copy and then I just save it as... Uh, capture, no. Testing. Save. And then I go here. See? I got a new, um, I mean, I got a new image. Yeah. And that's part of the, that is part of the function of this, um, of this shortcut because it can replace, I think it can replace the, um, sorry, should be this one. It can replace part of the Photoshop. <laughs> okay. So let's say if I want to export this one. Just uh, X, and then I export the video. Let me go here. Just go export. Just do export. No, nope. how come I can't do it? Ah, it crashes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But we just have to wait. Should I wait? No. Ah! <laughs> Too bad. Control Shift Delete. Ah! Doesn't work. Okay. Start again. Okay. This time is faster. So I recover. And then I go back to export. Let's say I'm happy with all these timeline that kind of thing mp4 um 720p and then i just export file click it just define i just call it test mp4 mp3 <laughs> test with okay save
Am I doing anything? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am exporting. It's done. Good. Close it. I don't save this time. And then let me see if it works. Yeah, good. Very good. It works. So I just demonstrate how to use the free shortcut video editor to replace part of the Photoshop functions. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I can just replace Photoshop totally. Anyway, I'm kidding. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Bye bye.